Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Machine Dana and in this series of videos I'm going to be showing you how to do loads of different things with your Elgato Stream Deck. I recently bought one of these and there's loads of different things I've done with the Stream Deck that have made my streams a lot better. Integrating it with Twitch, Streamlabs, also various other tools. This particular video I'm going to show you how you can put an image over all of your buttons to purely provide an aesthetic look and feel for the Stream Deck when you're not using it or as a sort of top level folder. So this involves having an image that sort of spreads itself across the buttons uh, on any particular page. And I'll show some examples of how I've used that on my particular Stream Deck. Uh, there's no function for this. Uh, this is purely a aesthetic improvement to your Stream Deck. And hopefully you guys have some fun with this. You can use static images for this, but you can also use GIF images. There are also applications that you can download that help you to do that. So in this video, I'm mainly going to be going, showing you how you can do it with a static image. If you want to take a look at all of my other videos on the Elgato Stream Deck, please feel free to browse the playlist. I do stream almost every single day at 6pm uh, UK time. You can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana if you do find this video useful please do give it a thumbs up because that will help people to find uh, out how to do this as well it improves the discoverability of the video and also if you want to see more elgato stream deck or just streaming tips in general please feel free to subscribe to my channel too without further ado let's get into it so what I'm specifically going to show you how to do today is to put an image over multiple buttons like this. Now, this video does apply to the, uh, the I think it's the 6 button, the 15 button, and also the 32 button. The way you do this doesn't change by the fact that you've got a small, medium, or large stream deck. It really doesn't matter. First thing, some sort of housekeeping stuff. What you want to make sure is that you are setting it to the correct profile. I've got my Machine Dana one, which is the one that I use for my main stream. To look at the profiles and to edit, uh, certain preferences you really want to go into down, down click this here click edit profiles uh, you've got a profile section here that you can look at but it's the general you want to be checking out here make sure that you've got the most up-to-date version I'm currently running 4.8.213041 under the account section you're able to link your Streamlabs account to enable some integration with Streamlabs uh, and you can also integrate with uh, with Twitch as well uh, and various other tools by clicking on the plus icon here. In terms of making this type of uh, multi-tile image like this, you don't need to link any accounts. You just need to bear in mind that you will be setting this picture to a specific profile. So if you have multiple profiles, you may need to set this to multiple profiles if you want that same picture to work across multiple profiles. So to demonstrate the way I've done this, oh, oh, First things first here, uh, what I've got is, th these are actually all buttons that don't actually do anything. Pretty much all of these buttons literally do absolutely nothing. They don't have a title here, uh, and they don't have a hotkey assigned. Uh, it's literally a picture. When I press that button, I can test by double clicking on screen here. As you can hear my mouse, hopefully you can hear my mouse clicking. Uh, that's not doing anything. What I do have here is I have assigned one folder. I've just for fun, I've assigned it to the hand of my logo, which actually then goes into all of my Stream Deck functions. So this button here is actually a folder and everything else is a hotkey with no action assigned to it. So to demonstrate exactly how to do this, I'm actually gonna just go into a new folder here. I'll right click and create a new folder. Uh, I can just call it test for now. Um, you can call yours what you want, but you don't have to even give it a folder. What you need to do is locate the area on your Stream Deck where you want to actually have the specific picture. Once you've done that, uh, this is where we're going to start to actually build from the canvas. And just to give a feel for how this works, the top level of my Stream Deck, the very top folder, is an image because that's just aesthetics. Uh, and then I've got multiple folders that have them as well. And if you go, for example, into the Spotify one, I've got a picture here. This will launch Spotify, and this is just a picture of the Spotify icon. So all of these are hotkeys, uh, literally a system hotkey with nothing assigned to it. And then these are all assigned buttons that actually do something on Spotify. So you can use them um, as a full panel, um, like my top level folder. You can use it as a full panel like this, or you can also use it on a partial panel, a little bit like this, where you've got some image and some functions too. If you've got any good ideas like this, feel free to share them in the comments below. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna have a blank canvas to work with by opening a new folder. What we need to do here is go into the system section on the right-hand side, and we literally need to grab a hotkey and drag it over. Now you can do this with a folder, um, 
create a folder by right clicking and creating a folder. The problem with doing that is every folder you can go into. Whereas if you use a hotkey and it's got nothing to assign, I can't double click that and go into it. So there are various ways to do essentially the same thing here. But the best way to do it is to use a hotkey because as long as you're not assigning a task to that hotkey, the button is useless whether you double click it or accidentally press it on your Stream Deck itself. And then of course you can have one folder uh, that then is the one that you can dive into for functions. Uh, for example, if you have it as a top level file. Uh, and the reason the, the reason why this works is because if I if I now click on, on, on the folder icon, uh, the first click clicks on the icon to pull up its attributes and then the second click will click into the folder. So you are able to create your own images per every single button if you want to. And if you want to do that, the size of the keys by default is 144 pixels by 144 pixels. You may already have a load of buttons that you want to simply dra drag and drop as the image is there, in which case you need to click on the button you want to assign it to, click the down button here on the attributes and set from file. Once you click that, you can literally just grab the image. And the thing to bear in mind, if the pixels are not quite right, in this case, it's 288 by 288. By default, the Elgato software will downscale the image. Uh, for example, I've got this one here that's a 144 by 144, but if I was to drag this one in, set that as the icon, it will downscale the image for you. But to be honest, the best way of doing this, for example, if you're in Photoshop, would be to have, have the canvas set as 144 by 144 as shown there. So that's an easy way of being able to individually set the images. However, I'm gonna show you a more easy way to do this in terms of being able to do it across all of the buttons at the same time, so to speak. We already know that we can use a hotkey or a folder as the uh, button. Preferably it would be a hotkey, but you will need one folder if you want to go kind of deeper into sets of folders further down. There's another option here within the attributes when you click the down icon, which is to create new icon. All up-to-date versions of the Elgato streaming software have this create new icon option and when you click it it goes to a web based application which is elgato.com forward slash en if you're english uh, forward slash gaming forward slash key creator this is a public facing web application and this literally just allows you to build buttons from the attributes that are here but with as part of this you can click on the image here and add images specifically to it and if i just click on one of these buttons for example the add button here you can see that the um, the pixels are by default 144 by 144 in size. You can change the colors, you can add text, you can change gradient colors and add flat colors. For example there, and then that's a gradient version of the blue. There's loads of different things you can do here and there's loads of kind of icons that you can choose from already by default on here. But to be honest, they're all quite boring. Everyone uses the same ones there and there are gonna be loads of extra things you can do with this. And obviously in this video, I'm showing you how to make the wallpaper version. To make the wallpaper version, you simply cl click on wallpaper mode. From here, you actually need to switch to the correct stream deck size. So there's the, the mini, which is six buttons. If you select the deck, it's uh, the 15 button stream deck. And then the XL is the, uh, the, the 32 button version, which is the one that I've got. So what you're now able to do is literally compose the wallpaper in this area here by adding text, adding gradients, adding colors, or also pulling in pre-made uh, pre pictures. There are also layers that you can drag above and below each other. So you can drag layers to the top if you want them at the top of the layer. I'll demonstrate this by adding a picture. So all I do here is click this picture icon here, add an image. So once I've located uh, a logo version of mine, I can do that. By default, it will size it to full like this, but you can also select it uh, and resize it with the arrow keys here, as you're able to do normally. Just to demonstrate the layers thing, you can drag the layers above each other. This now puts this one on the top layer. You can also click the, uh, the icon here to remove it from sight, uh, just like in Photoshop, or you can exit off like this and that'll get rid of it. So you're able to just resize this. It's a little bit buggy. In Photoshop, you're able to, even an attribute that's off the screen, I'd be able to resize it here. As this is a web-based application, it's not as powerful as Photoshop. You would have to resize and then move it up like this, and then resize again. So you just have to play around and fiddle with this. But once you've got it to exactly where you want it, for example, if I want to do it there, now you'll notice that it doesn't actually update on the keys here. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, just collate your layers and compose it here. Once you've actually 
done the wallpaper you are able to save the wallpaper itself now just to demonstrate that this picture here is a png file of this preview it's not of the keys so if i now click that you'll see i've made an image here which i've collated from that online application you may want to save that file anyway because it's essentially the original version of your keys but obviously that's now not at this point split into keys it's just for reference point you can save the full picture here once you've composed that with all your layers. To make sure that this is fully updated with what I've composed on the wallpaper mode here, what I just need to do is click off onto a different Stream Deck, click back on to the Stream Deck again, and it will update. And it's as simple as that. So if you find that by moving it around, it's not updating it there, don't worry about that too much. All you simply have to do is select off and then back onto it, and it will update it. But I'm just going to go ahead and play around with this until I've got it into the exact area that I want it to have. So with that in mind, I'm now going to save keys with here. Now what this will do once I click it, it will save a zip file of your keys. Here, see it's done it as a zip file. I can extract these images by uh, right click and copy or cut them into your desired location on your desktop. And when I click into the Stream Deck Keys folder, you'll see I've got all the folders here. Now a pro tip here when you're doing this, uh, I, would, I would highly recommend resizing your folder here so that you can see the previews of the images and to do that you can right click view you click on just large icons make sure you can see the icons themselves and just resize the window by default windows will resize the images uh, to, to fit the full width of the folder that just makes it easier when you're actually dragging it onto the elgato stream deck keys now we now have the stream deck uh, folder that we were going to play this uh, place this onto what i'm just going to do is resize that onto the right of the screen and I'll, I'll move this just down here so you can see it now we've got on both screens we can see exactly what needs to go where now what we do need to make sure one thing to, to show here i cannot just drag that onto this folder here because there's no folder or hotkey onto those images so what we need to do is take this hotkey that's got no hotkey assigned to it and it's got no image assigned to it other, other than this blank robot face all you need to do is you can right click copy or you can use Control c here and then Control v to paste it so we now have a essentially a, a blank canvas that we can work with i'm just going to say that uh, i want that one there as the folder so i'm swapping those around actually now i've decided i want that one in the bottom corner to be the folder Remember, this is set up as a folder. So now what you need to do is click on the icon itself and you can either set it from file, but that's a really slow way of doing it because we now already have it in this window here. So instead, what we'll do is click on the icon and literally drag the image to that area there and that will paste it on there. Now, the thing to bear in mind here is that the I've made a, a bit of a mistake here because the M of Machine Dana is on this folder here, which is actually always on the Elgato Stream Deck to go back up to the directory folder. So in this case, the M would be there. You don't need to worry about that too much because actually what you're able to do here is simply click on the folder once. If you double click it, it will go back up to its root. If you just click it once, you can actually set an image for the uh, backup as well. I'm now just going to drag the M to here instead and that sets the M. So that is technically a folder. It's a folder that goes back up through the root. And I'm, I'm now going to drag the A into this one here. And all we're going to do is literally just build this bit by bit. So now that I've gotten to this section here, it's all in there except for this final one, which is a folder. I can choose to leave that as a folder because it actually looks okay. But to be honest, even with that, if I just remember that that is the folder, I'm going to uh, just drag this one uh, over that icon there. And that means that it looks really, really tidy. And that's literally it now. We've got a number of hotkeys that are basically useless at this point. If we ever want to assign a function to any of those hotkeys, we can easily do that by clicking here and giving it a title. Uh, we know that this is the root folder. We can have all of our actual Stream Deck functions in here, for example, Twitch integrations uh, or Streamlabs integrations. We also know that this will go back up through the root folder as well if we want it to, but in reality, we could make this the top level folder and that all the folders go down through that in the bottom corner. 
So there you have it, a really easy way to set up wallpapers that span all of the buttons on your Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, uses the online tool, quite easy and quick to set up. I've recorded this video in probably 15, 20 minutes, really, really quick to do. No prep needed really at all. Uh, you simply drop in the files, create them, save them and literally drag them onto the correct hotkeys or folders. Once again, if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate if you can like the video and if you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and take it easy. Have a nice day.